today we're visiting Schaffhausen, Switzerland. Schaffhausen is very dear to my heart because it's where my dad was born and raised. It is very well known for the famous Rhine Falls, which is one of the top attractions to come and see and do. You can visit it by boat and get right up to that middle rock and have the most amazing views of the falls right there in front of you. You can also access it by foot. They have these beautiful walkways all along the waterfront to go and enjoy. It has a castle called the Munot Castle, which is surrounded by beautiful vineyards and it's located right in the city center, so only walking distance from the old town. This is downtown Schaffhausen. Beautiful buildings, a beautiful square. We stopped by the tourism office and we got a map of the town. So here we are. Can you point to the middle square? That's where we just were. And here you can do a walking tour and go all the way through the old town. Then you definitely want to check out this castle. That's Munot Castle. It has a beautiful view. And if you feel like you're hot and you want to go for a swim, they even have a little swimming pool right in the Rhine River. It's a beautiful old town. Gorgeous buildings everywhere. So they have markets that go on in the main square and down this street and then they have a weekly market so you'll see stands like this outside which is very nice and lively, lots of cafes. All the benches are Decorated? Decorated, I guess. Yeah. I was going to say painted, but I wasn't sure. It looks like every company has themed them mm -hmm. differently. Every single store is like their theme. Yeah, it's like a little advertisement and a bench all at the same time. Just wanted to show you guys what their train station looks like here, right in downtown Schaffhausen. So, just in case you're wondering as well, the Rhine Falls is not in the downtown, so it is a drive away. So, if you're coming, um, you want to go and park somewhere separate. Here's another beautiful fountain. Oh, look at these buildings. It's just amazing. Right beside a McDonald's. It's so strange. Look at this building in front of us. This is unbelievable. Look at how old it is. It's from 1675. Or even, well, some of the numbers are 1586. Wow. There is a astronomical clock. That clock up there tells all different things like the time of the year, the seasons, the moons, the eclipses, all sorts of things. And of course, the time. This looks like it would have been their old city gate to come into the old town. Or a tower. definitely want to bring some water because it is a good hike up to get to the top of the castle.
is from Schaffhausen. He's from the city. And when he was a little boy, that's what he used to wear. But I don't think his sister dressed like that. I don't think so. <laughs> if I were to describe Schaffhausen, everything is ancient, like you see behind me, but brand new at the same time. Like they've kept it like intact, like as if it was built yesterday. They're pretty. This. And everyone so here clean. eats ice cream too. <laughs> yeah, they must serve good ice cream. And they bike up the hills with their groceries while eating the ice cream. <laughs> oh, did he really? Yeah. So there's different tour lines that you can take. Three different lines. There's a blue line, a yellow line, and from what I see, a pink line. And the difference is they go at different times and they do different routes. So just check online uh, which one you want to do. We're doing the yellow one. So let's go. We're not sure if we're going to get wet. That we did not come prepared for. And we ran like madmen because we took an exit that was incorrect and uh, did a little detour, but we made it on time. We were just informed we are going to get very wet. So there you go, guys. If you're coming, be rested, assured that you're going to get wet when you go on. Oh, boy. Little correction. It looks like there are four different lines. Yellow, red, green, and blue. Five. There's five. There's another one right there. Basically, look online because we do not know all the details. We walked all the way up the steep staircase to get to the middle of the Rhine Falls and from there you get the most epic views. We took a whole bunch of pictures, took our time and made our way back down. I've been in your waters, been looking at your door.
you're totally fine. Except when you come back, if you're sitting at the where you get off, you get wet. It gets wrinkled, bit. but it's refreshing. Yeah. Okay, so the yellow tour we did just goes to the island and back. There's the red one, which just goes directly across. There's the pink one, which is actually an audio guide tour as well, and you do a big tour. The blue one's a smaller tour, and then the green one's like the pink one, a bit longer. With no and then this one goes an even longer tour. Okay, so right beside the Rhine Falls is this little pub. A uh, restaurant called the CM Bra House. So that's where we're gonna go for some yummy food. So we found out why they have a scratch up map inside and the reason why is because every month, I think he said the last week of the month, they have a specialty menu at lunchtime for that country. And so right now it's um, Argentina and then after that they're going to do something for Germany because of course it is... Um, What's that party? Oktoberfest. <laughs> Can you even remember the party? Yes, it's Oktoberfest, so they're going to be doing German menus. So get this, they actually brew their beer completely in-house. They don't really sell it anywhere other than here, and it's all natural. So here we go. Anxious to try it. Oh, it's really good. I was thinking that because it was homemade, sometimes they make like dark ones or any of it's delicious. Spetsli. What Spetsli is, I'm gonna try and describe it. It's kind of like, looks like pasta, but it's not pasta. It's made it with like flour and <laughs> eggs, and um, they usually put different sauces and stuff on it, so. Mm. This is with Alpine cheese, so it tastes like the mac and cheese, like a homemade Spetsly mac and cheese. Really good. You guys have to try it. She it's said, really good. She said these are the best french fries in the world. Let's try it. Mom, do we have the water bottle? Mm. Mom. There's a good spice on it, that's why. And I got a hung, a hung. Hungarian flatbread. Hung Hungarian. Hungarian flatbread. <laughs> Here I go. I'm just mm -hmm. Yummy? I'm trying to describe it. It's like, it's cold. It's almost like a cold pizza with sour cream, but it's with like a cracker. Like flatbread, it's really good. So, there's actually this sauce that comes with it, and it's a garlic <laughs> sauce, and then it tastes like garlic bread now, and it's so good. I really love it. things you should know about Schaffhausen. So number one is that there's a north side and a south side and if you're going to park to go take the boat, the best is to park on the north side. There you go. Um, something that we learned, which was actually quite interesting, is in 1944, during the World War II, um, the U.S. Army actually bombed Schaffhausen. It was navigational error, it shows, but maybe they thought it was Germany because it literally if you hold that Julia for one sec, because Schaffhausen is like here and Germany is basically all around it. So it's like a little chunk of land that's sticking out, if you will. Um, so they probably thought they were bombing Germany. Anyway, so Franklin Roosevelt offered them quickly um, $4 million to say sorry. And um, 40 people died though during that bombing. So 
there's some fun facts for you. We ended the day with a nice stroll along the Rhine River and enjoyed the waterfalls. FYI, if you've done too many stairs for the day, there is a handy dandy elevator to bring you back up to your car. Hey, you get out and then there's another one. Oh, and I walk down by foot. Well, we did too. We ran down the mountain. You ran down? Yeah. So there's actually three. The first one you go up, another one you go up, and then the third one it leads you into a parking spot. Thanks for watching our tour of Shop Battles in Switzerland! And guys, make sure you subscribe because we are traveling to every single country in the world. So that way you can come along with us. And join us on our next adventures! We'll see you next time! Bye! Bye.